Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, yes, you see the trailer right here. Two man, guys, yesterday was social. Yo, I have my Dragon Ball hoodie that my sister got me for Christmas like years ago. I had these pants, yo. I had these pants on. Kid you not had these pants on yesterday at the Game Awards, not knowing in my mind at all that we were getting a BT4 trailer or Sparking Zero officially announced. If you guys don't know though, this this is this video is just for me to clear up any speculation. I'm giving my prediction on a release date and possibly like just some predictions and what I already see in the trailer of what we're, is probably going to be incorporated into the game. As you guys may not know, Spark or Spark, I said Spark. <laughs> Spike is actually going to be one of the head developers for this game. Now, if you don't know who Spike is, recently they dropped Jump Force, and Jump Force was unfortunately not well received by the community at all. Garbage, trash, it was trash, just, just put it like that. So it, when it just comes to the reputation that they have, they've also made Budokai series before. It, it, Spike is not known for making trash games. It just Jump Force just failed and kind of tainted the reputation a bit, but this is going to be from the original original developers from, from my understanding from what i've been seeing from what i've been reading the original developers from when this game was like popping back when we was on ps2 with all that being said that's just like one of the first things out of the way getting on into the name sparking zero is the official name and has always been the name of the series of budokai tenkaichi, tenkaichi. i think budokai tenkaichi again Fact, fact check me on this if if you will is the american translation or like just the american version or, or just our western culture way of saying sparking zero it's always been sparking it's always been dragon ball sparking we just called it budokai tenkaichi they even say in the trailer the next budokai tenkaichi so they know what we're talking about they know it's budokai tenkaichi 4 we're, they know we're going to call it budokai tenkaichi 4 that's like our code name that's like the community's name for it because what other name is it for? Now, now that we've got that out the way, the developers, the name, and all that good stuff, we're getting on into the gameplay. Guys, guys, this gameplay, this is the most we have seen literally since January. We got our last teaser when Goku was powering up in Super Saiyan Blue back in January in the last battle hour, which again is coming up in Los Angeles. The next battle hour, I think it's January 27th, I believe, is the next battle hour. And I think that's when we're gonna see some tangible gameplay possibly a release date coming from that because they didn't mention that new dragon ball release at battle hour but they dropped the trailer here so i think they're gonna be like, oh we're gonna get actual gameplay aside from that we have the actual when it comes to the, the gameplay footage that we saw one of the key things that i was seeing was of course the graphics and animation but they were really highlighting the fighting I didn't really see a story-esque uh, type, you know, thing revolving around it. Maybe that's the purpose of this specific trailer. But some Dragon Ball trailers, you, even with the, the teaser ones, you would see there was some type of story revolving around. No, they're really emphasizing fighting, like shake the earth, break the heavens. We're probably going to be able to destroy worlds. Like, do you guys understand that this is like OG stuff, like... We not only destroying the map, but we might be able to destroy worlds. Like you see Frieza throwing down that sphere. We may be able to change the entire environment with an ultimate. That bro, this they're thinking that I feel like they're gonna be implementing a lot of the stuff that we really, 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 really love when it comes to the Budokai Tenkaichi series. With all that being said, first of all, I'm gonna get into the roster. They literally glimpsed you through all the rosters and who all the people were. But I saw Jiren, Krillin, Tien, Yamcha, Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, Vegeta, um, Broly, freaking Broly, Trunks, uh, who else? Android 18. Um, I think that was the good bit that they showed. They showed a lot of characters in this one set. And I feel like the character select is actually going to be smaller. I don't think they're going to launch with, with a lot of characters. That's just my prediction. I really don't think, I don't want people to get their hopes up with them launching with so many characters. They're going to update this game periodically. It looks like it. Because they're just showing the, just the little bit of characters. Those little bit, and those little bit of characters are good. You have Jiren. 
freaking Jiren. So they might be covering 200 power. And with that, we might, when they do upgrade, we might get all the characters from the tournament of power. You know, Budokai Tenkaichi is known for adding a lot of characters in their game. What if they take a lot of the characters from tournament of power and put, bro, I, I just see the vision of where they can do things. And I really hope they implement a lot of these things. Um, even aside from all that, you get in into like the actual, when I tell you the gameplay, I'm seeing some mechanics in there that are really cool. The actual uh, clashing, I, we see that when Vegeta and Goku, I, that little blast before it hit, before that explosion, that's clash. We're gonna be, we're gonna be, bro. It's gonna be like this all day. Contr hey, watch the control. Hey, controller drift is gonna be crazy. Controller drift is gonna be crazy. We're gonna be, ah, 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 ah. We're gonna be. I'm telling you, I seen it. The, 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 the clashing when Vegeta and Goku did that in the first the first half of that trailer. That's what it is. That's what it is. I'm telling you. I even hope we're gonna get a sphere or like a, a sphere ball or like a sphere ultimate type of animation where you get to clash those two. That'd be so cool. And it like destroys, bro. Crazy, crazy. I want them to go back to some DB. Uh, fi Fighters has a lot of good animations when it comes to taking some of the, I really feel, uh, really hope that they dip into some of that when it comes to the Dragon Ball Fighters. They did a good job with those animations, those transitions coming in, throwing people off, off to the other side of the map, stuff like that. I really want them to take a dip in those and make it just bigger. Just make, make this the best Dragon Ball game. I Listen, I love Xenoverse 2. Don't get me wrong. It's a completely separate game. Let's, let's not compare the two, all right? Completely separate game but what i want to emphasize yo man budokai tenkaichi is going to be game for everybody like the universe 2 just didn't really click for everybody with the community and i understand but this is going to be the game that everybody's this is going to be that type of game that like even casuals can pick up and like ah oh, i know what dragon ball is but if all i can do is just fight then cool because i feel like it's going to be really evolved revolved around fighting it's going to be like probably like fighters in a way but just better and so getting on into some more of the mechanics you have, I see some, maybe some deflections. You could probably deflect a uh, blast. I seen Vegeta, like, deflecting one of Goku's Kamehameha's in one of the clips. And I was like, like, bro, are they, are they really, are they really about to, they really about to incorporate some, like, we're really about to be, I feel like they're about to really bring the essence of playing as Dragon Ball Fighter, like, with everything. Not just dodging an attack, not just blocking an attack, but, like, hitting it back and, like to its full extent like really really living in dragon ball man i i just when i went through this trailer i've watched it so many times again it's, it's on a loop on this whole i may be i'm gonna be showing clip, like screenshots of what i'm saying uh on the screen but it's gonna be in the loop because guys i can't i can't comprehend what happened yesterday i had no idea i again i posted a tweet i said possibly a bt4 trailer if anything long shot right and then they come and announce it the literally the guy was talking about some uh you, yeah that new dragon ball game that y'all waiting to be released i said what the dragon ball game what are you talking about and then they said bandai namco i was like ah uh, what is this i did I, at first my friend my friend he said he thought it was sandland i was crazy i was kind of laughing because i was like now that i think about it that first scene did look like sandland but then i was like what and i see goku and vegeta fighting i'm like wait this cannot be Budokai taken. I was in such disbelief at first. I was like, nah, I don't, I don't think so. Then they show, bro. Then when they show, I think what sold it for me was the part when they, when Vegeta and Goku transformed and they tried to put in the Super Saiyan Blue. I was like, wait. When I told you the clashing of the of beams, I was like, wait, clashing. This is Budokai. Even before that, it's the new Budokai Tenkaichi begins. But I was like, wait, this is really Budokai Tenkaichi. What? Again, they say, they're say they saying key things like shake the earth, uh, break the heavens, stuff like that. They're really emphasizing that we're just building a fighting world for you to come in and just throw hands. Like, they're, they're not, bro, Dragon Ball Z Sparking, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero will be released soon. You can upload it to your wishlist now. For PlayStation, for Steam, and all that good stuff. I will be updating my content on Xenoverse, guys. I took a break from that stuff because I did play it a lot. And I kind of wanted to dive into other games. As you can see, I play a lot of different other games. 
And I wanted to kind of dive in and do do different things, you know. I'm, I'm a gamer, so I wanted to actually broaden my horizons. Always what I wanted to do. But Dragon Ball is always my love. So if that ends up taking over, I have no problem. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. And get on some more Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 4 content. I'm just, that's, all, that's what I'm going to call it. Who else is going to call it anything different? Dragon Ball Sparking Zero Cool. That's the title we use for YouTube and algorithm. Blah, blah. Budokai Tenkaichi 4. That's what I'm calling it. I'll catch you guys later.